Hello to the one person who's watching. Oh man, the stream is current coming out a bit slow at the start here. But that's fine. We're fine. My friends are also be taking their time getting here. That's fine. We're fine. Anyway, it's time to read out um, our first like week um, catch up for um, subscribers and Patreon pledge pledges. We have um, Brandon Love Shinobu sixty nine. <laughs> Funny number. He pledged seven dollars. Yay! Oh man, I actually am not really sure how to do this by myself, really. I get kind of nervous. Alone. We're fine. This is fine. <laughs> there is no stage fright. It's all good. I think I might actually um, keep the live up, but we'll resume that.
walking on the ground I didn't make a sound Then I turned around and I saw a clown Had a frown, stood on a mound Started barking like a hound When I came to it I found He showed me something that was brown So we became great friends And late in life he got sick I gave him some soup, but he got worse. It asked for its purse. It got it, but it was empty, plenty. I wondered what to do. I didn't know what to think, so I got a drink. And then I showed it something that was round. Then it died, smiled, fell on the ground. about those days with the clown I get teary I don't know why clowny clown clown is still playing I don't know why it was like that that's cool um how's volume sound now mic lower mic higher Oh yeah, so here's some a good summary of what happened um, last week, if anybody missed it. We burned a giant baby alive. Hi everyone, hi the Royal Spirit and hi Chris. It's just me for an- oh I should be quiet for the prologue, hang on. Let be quiet. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. There it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of scissor men. Got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. A little bit higher, okay. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, Doctor. One after another. <laughs> Oh, the game's audio is kind of just like that. <laughs> but I can raise it. Who will make it through this game of murder alive? Clock Tower. We love games like this. I want that quote tattooed on me, by the way. So good. I never realized Clowny Clown Clown actually had volume. I can't hear it for Streamlabs. So, um. Oops, I actually gotta press the game file now. Wait. Game. Oh my god, wait. Oh shit. Did I not. I may have not, um, synced up my controller to the game. Uh oh. Um. And I just gotta configure. Game. Oh no. I tested it before, but I guess when I shut it down, it just didn't save my mapping. But that's fine. It's, um. It's just easier for me to play this on a controller, and it's really, um. To do, to do configuration. Game pads, port one. Okay, it remembers it. I'm sorry about this. This is just silly. Let's see, is it going to work now?
Oh yeah, this game is incredibly charming. It's incre- okay. So, I'm going to actually be entering a very secret cheat code here that you can only unlock if you've gotten um, both of the best endings from both routes of the game. It's just pressing start in the second controller. Um, if you do that, you um, unlock alternate costumes for every single playable character. Most of it is just palette swaps, but um, some of them are just um, full retextures that are pretty neat. But um, this game is um, incredibly charming. Before the big um, used game, like in like game collecting boom happened, I got this game for forty dollars at um, a local used game store, and um, I had an absolute blast. And it's one of my prized parts of my collection. I remember before I could go home to play it, I was just reading the manual over and over at my grandparents' place. And I was just like, wow, I can finally see what happens after the one I was emulating all this time. But, um, for those of you who weren't here last week, um, this game is, was released as the first Clock Tower game over in America. However, there's a whole other game that this is a sequel to. And, um, this exists in both versions, but, um, a summary of the last game is in this game, including, um... A remix of one of the songs from the first game. In the mountains of Romsdare in Norway stands the Barrows family mansion. This mansion had a large clock tower by which the locals tended their flocks in the surrounding fields. The local people called the mansion the clock tower. In 1986, the mistress of the Barrows Mansion gave birth to twins. From that day, they were... From the, I'm sorry. The day they were born, however, it was obvious the twins were not normal and were evil. The twins were given the names Bobby and Dan, who were later to become the murderous scissormen. In 1995, a young girl from the Granite Orphanage, whose parents died when she was quite small, was lured into the Barrow's mansion where she was attacked by a monster wearing a, wielding a giant pair of scissors. That monster was the grown-up Bobby. Although he was eight, I would not consider an eight a grown-up. I don't think anybody would consider that. She managed to escape from the terrible horrors, destroy the monster, and flee the mansion. For the next year, all of Norway had caught up with the sensationalized Scissorman murderer. Although Jennifer thought he was dead, Scissorman has reappeared. And then there's um, other stuff that you unlock um, by um, beating the game. You get a lot of um, behind the scenes stuff, like concept art, which is all really neat. Um, Including, like, um, this is very funny. I'm, I'll play it, like, probably next week after we're done complete with everything. But, um, Gots, you may remember. Actually, when you hear his voice, his voice may sound very familiar for anybody who's played the original PlayStation 1 Resident Evil. Because, uh-oh, he's somebody very familiar. And, um, this also has the case of a lot of PlayStation 1 games where it's, um, they're not very good voice actors, <laughs> for the most part. And it's very much like, um, finding, um, English-speaking people in Japan, but not caring if they're actually good at acting. It's, um, quite a treat, but, um, let's begin! doing professor you mustn't hypnotize her like this she's not ready to remember the murders yet Helen 
The clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. Sorry, I gotta take a little sippy I'm of my drink. <laughs> One thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. We love exposition. So Jennifer got adopted by a not crazy blonde lady. Good for her. All of her friends are dead, though. The ending we got last time is the canon ending. And I realized I don't have the game selected. There we go. So, um, before we can leave this room, we have to get, um, our context clues. But, um, so this is actually our first, um, alternate outfit. He would be wearing blue if I didn't enter a cheat code. And, um, there is, this was actually his original concept art drawing. Well, palette. But this is Professor Barton, our first playable character. So this is cr if you like Criminal Minds, this is it. Except we're profiling a ten-year-old with scissors, and how do we recognize the possibility of ten-year-olds with scissors happening? It just stops short, no, even if you got for the dialogue or not. <laughs> um, also, this game does have a hint system. And um, I tried to pick it up, but I realized I couldn't. If you examine this um, filing cabinet, you get a hint. And, however, you can't look at the hints unless you exit the game. <laughs> um, you, c you can look at them if you die. But um, I think we can leave now. Okay. We're good. <laughs> oh, are you ready for some 90s office couture? Ooh, we love a fax machine sound. Or the Xerox machine noises. Um, so, the one non-canon thing we did, um, last week was getting the staff instead of the statue. This is, um, the item that we canonically got. But, um, it was used for police evidence. Although it's now in our custody. But apparently, um, we could get an expert opinion on this. But, we have a first possible victim. Because the body count in this game can get absolutely insane. <laughs> Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. She adopted her, buddy. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Ah, oh, yes, you're right. Although, I don't- actually, I don't know if she adopted her or if she's her foster mother. It would make sense because the foster system is kind of fucked. Helen's desk. Also, a uh, cute little character thing like Beth's um, desk. It has like a cute little stuffed animal on it. Because she likes cutesy things. It's, I like that shit. I like, um, so you may be wondering, what's with the skull? Scissorman's River Mass. A kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. So I 
I'm pretty sure his face just looks like that in the original. But... He could have... Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about it, was he wearing... I don't think he was wearing a mask the whole time. Ah, uh, then again, he is twinsies. But then, Clock Tower War is stupid and we're only going to get stupider. And by only get stupider, um, there's a couple things we have to do in order to leave the room. And it is kind of dumb. We have to get him basically um, context clues. And, um, please stop, Barton. Please. Oh, hello. Christine! Hello, Steen is here. Hello, I'll start privately streaming for you. Oh, yes, please. For context clues. Discord, please. Piscorp, please. Oh, excellent. Do you hear the sweet sounds of fax machines? I I do. Yay! I'm playing with alternate costumes. We're gonna get that the whole playthrough. Cause you notice he's wearing brown now instead of blue. Okay, but oh shit, I actually gotta click the game again. Um So one of the things we gotta do in order to get out of the room is um we need to go through Harris's desk to find out that uh oh, he has so many articles about this case that we're all studying. And then, um... And then we gotta talk to this dude. Technically, this could be all done in a cutscene. But, like... There is a much worse way that this, like, whole, like, thing of, like, you gotta learn context clues before continuing on. Um, thing, it, there's a worse way it's done, and we'll be getting to that in October. When we get to, um, Clock Tower Ghost Head. Which is going to be the game of me bitching for an entire stream. And it's gonna be funny. <laughs> but, um, we got an interview downstairs. Scissor Man doesn't exist. Scissor Man, it would be cool if he was real. I say that to myself every night. Also, <laughs> I I move myself to the side of the screen because I realized um, I do less blockage with my wings um, when I'm over here. <laughs> the only thing is, though, if somebody, um, if um, an alert comes up on screen, it will 100% block my face and it will be funny. <laughs> So, like with Resident Evil 2, we can pick between two different routes, but instead of, um, discs, we have this guy. How many times we talk to him determines what character we'll be playing for the entire game. And it's not even a choice, it's just how many times you talk to him. So, if we just leave him, we'll be playing as Helen, but that's next week. This week, we're playing our girl, Jennifer. So, when I was young, young, <laughs> and Christine, I'm not sure if I've told you the story. Um, no. my brother, I played this with my brother, um, because he was curious and watched this with me. Um, we would do, um, a lot of silly voices in our playthrough. And, um... They got kind of mean at some point. There was somebody that my brother would voice and he would only just go, Zug, Zug. Oh. <laughs> it's, um... That guy in pink. It's very mean in hindsight. Tim, the cameraman. I feel like with the backwards hat, he looks like one of those how do you do fellow kids. Oh my god, he's a narc. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the dialogue in this game would just flow naturally. Like, I didn't have to 
keep pressing. For some reason, the talk like action on all these characters is over their crotches. That's something I will continue to make fun of. And unlike with the other game, um, an improvement we have is the ability to um, oof, excuse me, um, hover over things, and um, see if they're interactable based off that. Which is super helpful when we're in a 3D environment. Oh, guys, I hope you're excited for something that aged super fucking poorly. Um, we'll see it, like, in a bit. <laughs> but I would just like to tell you guys at this point, um, Jennifer is 15. Mm. <laughs> Oh god. But could Scissor Man really exist? I don't know why that's so implausible. Like, yeah, he could not be a monster, but like, it also could be somebody running around with scissors stabbing people. Like, there are like, there's over a dozen corpses in that mansion, guys. Let's start from the conclusion. Now you're speaking my language. There was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as murder weapon. Yes. But like, you could just call him Scissor Man at that point. I think you're really allowed to call your deal Scissor Man if you're killing people with scissors. Interview's over. Get out of my house. Um, once again, we have the wonderful lack of music. Um, we'll be getting more music later. Because also, with this game, I, um, I know more, um, things that make Scissorman appear, and they are so fun. <laughs> Another survivor of the Clock Tower murders. A young boy about 10 years old. <laughs> oh no! How did we not find a 10 year old boy? <laughs> Christine, how did we miss a whole ass child? I don't know. It, it is an entire boy. I mean, it's a big ass mansion, but like... How we miss a whole ass boy. I know I missed the best ending, but it's non-canon. Barton, please. Oh yeah, so there's no stamina in this game. So we can just run to our heart's content when we're not in the fucking prologue. Okay, so we have our first ending choice here. And kind of. It's just a story branch, and because a certain somebody said he might appear after Jeopardy. Oh, have no oh, hope him? in this. Have no hope in this. No, <laughs> I, I shan't. Um. Starting to get an extra opinion on the statue. So this determines where we're going to be going for Chapter 2. However, we need to remember which thing we selected. Because otherwise, if we go to the wrong location when it comes to choosing where to go, then we're going to get the worst ending. Ripping on the statue. Okay, please. Please let me talk to um, your skinny man. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's in the waiting in the he's in the waiting in the therapy room. Yes. Mm. Is there something I can do for you? And then I have to do. You, okay. I love this game, but it also does bullshit like this. 
I have to go back to the statue. Professor Sullivan. Or the butler. So there are two possible locations for chapter two. And so I'm... If we say no, we go to the library. If we say yes, we go to the butler. Next week, we'll go to the butler. This week, we're going to the library for the person who may or may not appear because of Jeopardy. And also, I'm working on a game that's in a library, so I think we want library vibes. Absolutely. We want library vibes. <laughs> Okay, finally, we can go to the therapy room. I went to therapy today. It was nice. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> we got a bit of, We got a little, um... A child. I don't know why I find him in his little boy shorts so funny. <laughs> I'm an instructor. Fuck. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. You just made up a name for him? Your name is now Bartholomew. <laughs> now since it's our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. I wish I had body tracking so you could see just I'm emulating what um, Professor Barton's doing with his arms. It's incredibly <laughs> silly. And don't worry, we're going to get more voice acting later. But very much later. Because right now we're... Um, we are currently in the in-between. This is basically our, um, in-between shit. Um, in-between each- so, unlike the first game, which is very much, like, open area and shit, um, this game has everything divided up into chapters. And in-between each- um, so each chapter has a sum run and hide in different locations, with the goal usually being to do something, then escape. Now, um, in between, we have, like, basically just meeting up with other survivors. So, well, we're just past the future victims. <laughs> and just basically every- it's kind of like, um, a crime mystery? Because it's all very much also about discovering, like, um, who could Scissor Man be? So we have many locations that we can go to. It's kind of like a Nancy Drew game, except not really. So this isn't Jennifer's alternate outfit, but, um... Mr. Sullivan, I'm gonna ask you to back up. <laughs> that girl is a child. <laughs> Jennifer, we're leaving. Jennifer, we're leaving. Um, but like with the prologue, it's very much go to places in a different order, do things, and then you're allowed to finish. And the problem is, it does take a while. It kind of sucks. But... This may be a slow start, but once we're in it, we're going to be in it. <laughs> I love the loading screen. I love blood letters. Came for a little visit. I love this 90s chic. This game came out in 
1996. And you can tell. Like, look at that heater. Moi. I remember those. Like, remember old heaters like that? I do. And you could just, you kept putting your fingers in the cracks. And they get all burned. I loved it. <laughs> and as I wasn't paying attention to the actual cutscene, oh. um, Helen's computer is broke, so she's going to be staying late. So we have another thing to do. We're going to the hotel to see um, who our fellow um, victim is. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Is this boy Edward? I don't know. How many boys are there? Yes, I am, Jennifer. I guess Norway doesn't um, have, like, child anonymity laws in the news. Or maybe it's a more recent thing. Then again, there are a lot of, like, high-profile cases of, like, children surviving killers and then their places being- their faces being plastered everywhere. So, um, here's our side quest. Edward's lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Do we really want to make him remember, though? Do we want to make him remember the orphan eating baby? Maybe some traumatic memories that are buried deserve to be buried. Hot take. I'm no psychologist, but I did take um, adolescent psychology as um, an elective in college. So now I think we can go home. Someone's in front of my house. Oh, that's... Chris Hansen. You'll see what I mean. I wish we could walk around here. I love... I love Jennifer's room. It's very cute. What I don't love is Mr. Flatass here. You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please, call me Nolan. I've been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. This man's in his 20s. Even though it's a very big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. I feel like I've made this comment every time. Like, we've done, like, a little playthrough of this game. But every single time Nolan's name comes up, I keep reading it as No Ian. <laughs> because of that slight little space in between the no, O and the, no, the Ian. L. <laughs> No, Ian. No, Ian. No, Ian. You you can't be a you can't be a gross pedo today. Mm -mm. I know people are like, oh, is he be a file? I don't give a shit. I'm calling you a pedophile. <laughs> hey, what do you think about going to dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Red flag. Are you asking me for an interview or a date? Uh, well, uh. Uh, that's it. Both. You're going to jail, buddy. Both an interview and a date. All right, then. Tee hee. Let's go. And that's their introduction to the first, um, us being in danger now. Welcome to chapter one, everyone. He's, I like how he's directly leading us into danger. Okay, so here's our first alt outfit. He's not even walking us home. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely sucks. <laughs> but, um, there's a cool little Easter egg you can do in this scene. 
It's not really an easter egg, but, um... <gasps> someone's following me. You can bang on this door. Please, someone help me. It does nothing. Scandinavia living wants you to die. Well, it's not very living of them. <laughs> Nobody's living in Scandinavia on my watch. So, there's somebody following us on the street. What's the smartest thing you can do? This. Uh. Jennifer, you're suicidal. I love you, but, like, girl, you ask for death. We already eat it, guys! Long last intro, we're getting right the fuck into it. Why, why did she close the door? She's not smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first box, we'll kill us. Second box, we live. I have this whole game memorized. For the most part, I think. So, this is the office building from the prologue. We're at the university right now. So, um, cool fact before we go anywhere. There's some tools, but nothing seems useful. This might be useful. If we do not get this item, we are locked out of getting the best ending. It's one of those. But, um, technically, um, I can beat this level in under a minute. Or, like, a minute. It's very fast to beat if you know what you're doing. However, we're gonna be exploring! There's a lot of things that can happen. And a lot of, like, ways that Scissor Man can appear. Like this! We're not the only one that can hide! Jennifer, please run. Jennifer! So here's one of the ways we can avoid him. Waiting for the elevator very slowly. But we get this cool little scene. It's so extra, I love it. Here's the thing. I think we can actually leave. <laughs> and he won't be there. Ghastly. I love it. Imagine this in HD. To answer your question, Chris, it's Jennifer. <laughs> she is not smart. So, with the ladder key, we technically have everything we need to leave. We're not doing that. <laughs> I am going to be looking at everything. Because it's fun to just look at absolutely everything. I think Jennifer's, um, this outfit of hers is called the waitress outfit. But I think it's meant to, oh wait, hang on, I want to go in the men's room. Um, it's meant to be a reference to her outfit in the first game. I wish they just straight up had it. But, um, beggars can't be choosers. Oh. 
He could be anywhere. So, um, I actually did, um, back in college for one of my level design classes, I did, um, a presentation on this chapter. Because, um, even though it's easy to beat, it has a lot of replayability because it's just so much fun exploring it and, um, seeing what you can possibly do. gnarly for the PlayStation 1. Oh, hang in there, girl. Yeah, me too, bitch. The fuck? So, that character's name is Rose. She is actually acknowledged in, um, Helen's side of the story. Um, and that's one of two places you could possibly find her body. Both places are not pretty. <laughs> I do think it's a shame for, like, how big of an area this is, that, um, they're really, um, you can really just get past this immediately. Okay, so, um, the phone lines are dead. Here's the inventory, you just bring your, um cursor up to the very top. So we technically don't even need to be in this room. However, it can be useful in some scenarios. And also you get some cool war stuff here. For example, something's missing, isn't it? That's where he got the scissors. <laughs> oh. I actually have not been to a ther therapist that has those beds. I guess they're like out of style nowadays, huh? You gotta have your line all the way back. You gotta keep you on your toes. I have a very, there's a very cushy couch that my therapist has me sit on. Do you think if I put on... Oh yeah, gross. Harris, what a freak. I should be able to um, put on the Scissor Man mask in order to um, psychologically fuck with him. <laughs> like, imagine Michael Myers going around. Then there's just another person... Oh wait, shit, there's actually a movie about that. Never mind. He is not intimidated by that. I'm thinking about, there's this Halloween movie where, um, it's basically like, ooh, we're, I'm Tyra Bank, Maury, oh, Maury, from the Maury show? Oh my god, my, I didn't take my, I didn't take my ADHD meds before the stream, can you tell? <laughs> But, um, Christine, what was I talking about? <laughs> Maury. Before Maury, before I got distracted. Oh, oh, you're, you're asking the wrong person. Oh, no. I remember even <laughs> going Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I was talking about something with Clock Tower. No, oh, God. No, it's me. <laughs> Oh my god. So, 
So um, my one of my favorite random events can happen in here. I hope it happens. Or maybe I'll pop out over here. Oh, here we go! Here we go! <laughs> oh. Except we have to wait for the facts to print. I can't move. We have to just sit here and wait. As the <laughs> facts prints in real time. I'm not complaining about this. I would pull this shit. <laughs> Okay, now we can move. When I did a playthrough of this for my class, you could hear in the background the pre-recorded footage of me just spamming the X button. <laughs> he took the time to fax us this lovely note. Scissor Man is adorable. <laughs> what? Oh my god, the fax is coming from inside the building. Jokes on you, kid. That could be used um, against you in a court of law. We just gotta figure out what number um, he faxed us from. W while we're here, we might as well steal somebody's wallet. <laughs> That's silly. I love it. I love, I would love to just be hired to write, um, examine dialogue for just item descriptions. Like, um, the toilet in Lily's Well, that was just me going off on, like, how many different names can I call a toilet? <laughs> What's the Norway? Right I never actually saw yeah, this. Oh. This this play from just literally clicking everything. Why didn't you call the Norwegian equivalent of nine one one? Oh. Pff. Well, you ruined your one chance, sweetheart. I'm sorry. The office building where my mom works, well, her place has, like, an office building. It still, like, this is gonna sound super weird. It has that smell of, like, older office buildings. Like, it has, like, the carpet, like, the everything still. Like, yeah. you know how it smells the, like old dust. Yeah, like, you know how the library elevator smelled, um, back at, um, Champlain? Hmm... I can't picture it, but I'm willing to take a guess it was probably about the same. Yes. Girl, why would you open it if you thought he was there? I am opening everything trying to get him to appear. You should not be having the same thought process. So please let my f other favorite random event happen, please, please. <gasps> Yay! Oh man, we're getting good RNG tonight, friends. Look at this shit. This is wonderful. Oh wow. It's got the oh, golf planned oh, out. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I was taking oh. a step. My <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! What's the panic button? Uh. Oh. Oh, oh god. fuck. Oh, well, she boned. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to take a sippy. Well, I mean, he set up the computers and everything. You might as well die for him. Mm -hmm. Me, whenever any of you test my shit. Now we get to watch it again! Yay! Now 
Then we gotta go. We gotta go, Jennifer. So I'm gonna use a different evasion method. So I'm gonna get creative. We're gonna, um... No stairs. Yeah, I could have used the elevator because I'm pretty sure it's infinite use. But that's lame. That's boring. I took the time to unlock the therapy room. We're gonna use the therapy room. No, we can't psychologically mess with him with the mask as much as I want. <gasps> now I remember what I was talking about. I remember what I was talking about. There's a Halloween movie in which oh, um, right. they're live streaming the, um, the Myers house on like the anniversary of like the killing oh shit okay hang on there we go are you ready for chemical warfare oh. <laughs> oh hi <laughs> We just sprayed it with ammonia. Fuck yeah. Woo! But um, as they're doing this live stream, they have somebody dressed up as Michael Myers. It's apparently like, trying to get um, the live streamers. And um, uh-oh, Michael's back and he starts killing them. That's what I was trying to bring up about this one Halloween movie. It's the one that takes place after H2O. Anyway, back to exploring the third floor. Um, trying to make a f the Halloween movies have such a strange timeline because they just basically um keep going back and are like. Oh, wait, we don't like that. Um, we're gonna reboot it. But keep the first movie. Unless you're Rob Zombie. I love, um... The horror, um, characters going to, um... Oh, God. Worthy Kids. Worthy Kids? Um... They made, um, a video about a bunch of, like, horror killers going to, um, a, com a oh, gas station convenience yeah. store. But for some reason, among all the movie characters, Scissor Man is there. And, um, oh, if that's a hint, we can look at it next time I die. <laughs> and I love it. Because I love Scissor Man. He gives me joy. He's just a silly boy that dances when he kills you. I forever envy the person with um the um What are those fancy ball joint dolls? That has a lot of collabs of everything. Fancy ball joint dolls. Yeah, like oh god, I don't remember what they're called. But, um, in Night Cry, um, one of the pictures of, like, <gasps> Oh, we got this one! We got this one! We got this one! Oh. He has the power of this elevator, too! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I've been using the stairs. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, but there's somebody who had a ball-jointed doll of, um, Edward. And it filled me with joy. It's like, I want your doll. Girl, girl, no. Girl, gr oh god, I pressed the wrong bed. Well, we're gonna see what hint three is. Oh, Jennifer, you're so stupid. I respect you. <laughs> I love fake hiding spots. That's something that this game also introduces. Um, in the other game, if you um, had a hiding spot that didn't work, you would, the chase would just continue. Pamphlet. Hint. So hidden freeze what we just grabbed. 
When in a pinch, there are many times where clicking on some item will rescue the character. Cool. This definitely has um, inf impacted how I word things. But I love hint systems. I've got a hint system in my current game that you don't get just by dying. It's um, a little something special in a basement. Okay, it should be this bed. Yeah, up here. Girl, that's also not a good hiding spot! Jennifer! Oh, she's so stupid. She's so stupid. I can't help, like... She's like a sad baby animal at times. Oh, thank God, Scissorman's also kind of stupid. I feel like, um, the first Clock Tower game and this game could make a very good adaptation for, like, a short anime season. But literally only if it was, like, in a 90s anime style. And, like, that's an impossible dream. But, like, you can't adapt this into a movie. The pacing is just all wrong. I feel like more things, like, especially, like, book series, um... I don't... She only survived the first game because I was piling her. <laughs> she is... And also, Scissor Man just kept up refusing to show up last time. But, um, we have everything we need. Just to show, like, how fast I could have beaten it. This key I got at the bottom floor. We just gotta use it up these stairs. We didn't need to go on anywhere else. This is just me giving you a nice tour of the, of the land. Um, because for some reason... Oh, wait. There's a cool, um, flavor text thing. Um, if you examine the door, apparently somebody killed themselves off the roof, and that's why the roof exit is, um, locked. But, um, we did it! Chapter one over! I like... I like this game a lot. <laughs> like, there's so much, like, little stuff. Like, we didn't have to get attacked in the computer room, we didn't have to get the funniest facts ever. But, we did- could've. And if you're playing this for the first time, you won't know that, like, it's this simple. And like, you'll be wandering around scared and confused. Like Jennifer. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> we haven't even solved this case yet. And now another mass murder? I'm so sad we can't hear Gots yet. He's more of a main character in Helen's scenario, but, um... We will eventually hear his voice. But, um, you guys know Barry from Resident Evil? You were almost a Jill Sandwich? That's him. Oh. That's him. And you get to hear him again. And once we're all done with this game, I will show you the bonus clip that just has all of his bloopers and bloopers alone. I think all horror games that have voice acting should have a blooper reel that's unlockable. That's why I have alternate costumes and stuff. They're fun unlockables. Oh great, a cop's outside our house. I feel so fucking safe. It's not like he gutted two um, underpaid security guards. I really do like Gots though, because he's not real. And I like how they're like, thanks, Inspector Gotts. And he's like, that's Assistant Inspector. Like, he's like, do not think highly of me. <laughs> and he, like, he calls her... I like Helen and Gotts. They're cute. <laughs> Helen is immediately like, I believe you, my adopted child. We need to figure out how to find this child and destroy the bitch. <laughs> not even just kill. We need to destroy him. <laughs> After a night like that, what do you do now? Let's check in on that child. 
Also, um, like um, the other um, clock tower, um, this actually does have um, a book tie-in, except there are two books. Only Hel There are two books, one following um, Helen's um, side and the other one following Jennifer's side. Nobody has fucking translated Jennifer's side. It's been over 20 years, guys. For the love of God. Um, to the university research building. I think that's short for building. The bilge. Bilge. The bilge. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I'm just on my way out. I feel like... At this point, you definitely need to have, like, a buddy system. <laughs> okay, so our new goal is to, um, find a statue. Because, hey, maybe it's connected. <laughs> oh, I wish the person who's here for, um... Christine, can you message the person who leaves us for Jeopardy and let him know that um, we're almost to the library? Oh, okay. Sure. Cause maybe, because I know he's currently playing Siege. And oh, I know, because the battle pass is almost over. And for those of you who don't know, I love Rainbow Six Siege. I am a monster. I'm not the best at it. However, I play Frost because I like watching people suffer. I have a, a, um, a replica Frost mat at the um, start of my office. It's like a little, it's a little welcome mat. <laughs> but it's very funny. And people, it's very funny when people step in the welcome mat and then they just leave the game because they're upset that they didn't watch their damn feet. I know I'm ignoring the game. <laughs> Who is Nolan? Helen, get his ass. Get his ass. Helen, I need you to become a killer. Kill Nolan. Kill Nolan. Like, I don't know why they thought that would be a good idea. I hope Nolan is there. I hope not. I hope he died. I hope the reason why I didn't walk you home was because he died. God is dead. Okay, here's the other side of the um, ending explanation. This total I'm totally not doing it this way so we don't have to fucking play as Nolan. So it was the Scissor Man. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe. It's not like he got grinded up into paste in the clock tower gears. The answer is no. C and I don't mean that like as a joke, like we have to say no, otherwise um, we'll get the worst ending. And it is kind of funny, but I'll do an ending showcase because this game actually has the wonders of letting you um, replay ending videos um, after you get them. And I'll do that after um, I finish Helen next week. I just love, like, the little rooms in this game. Like, I like this private room with the couches, like this interview room. The answer is no, because he doesn't have the statue. That's, this is how we need to remember. Um, if we did give the statue to him, we would need to say yes. So, this is not a walkthrough whatsoever. But, um, we basically need to make sure we get the statue by remembering where we sent it as um, Professor Barton in the beginning. And I think that's neat. I think it's a very nice way of choosing where you want to go. Scenario 2, Headwood. Oh no, I hope a certain somebody isn't just no longer watching Jeopardy and being a fucking flake. 
because now we're in the library. I've sent him a carrier pigeon. I hope. See if he responds. I hope it hits him in the window. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan! <sighs> oh, he got my carrier pigeon! Oh no, he left! <laughs> what? what do you mean he left? <laughs> he was in the chat and then he left. Motherfucker! <laughs> I think he's getting some stuff together. Mother, mother, mother. Okay, I'm gonna put the controller down and wait. We're all gonna have to listen to the clock noises now. <laughs> he said, sorry, hold on. I'm waiting, Ben. If he wants me to call him that. Yes, our mystery librarian. Yeah, what? we're gonna ignore the little urchin child sitting here at the table. A certain librarian is here. We just got to the library, too. Are we are we streaming to the uh, general public right now? What's going on? Oh, here? you're live on um, YouTube right now, my dude. What name do you oh, want me to call wow. you? Do you want me to call you, but what I usually call you, or something else? Yeah, no, I don't care. Okay, Ben. <laughs> do you want to <laughs> say hi to chat? Yeah, hello, chat. How how do I watch this this stream? Um, is it a link somewhere. It's on YouTube. Yeah, I put a link. Um, yeah, I put a link in general. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. YouTube is running a little behind, so I would yeah, recommend so, watching um, Yeah, so, uh... yeah, just watch the actual footage in Discord. I see. Um, so, library. Cool. I thought this game was, um, what console was this on? Well, the first one was on Super Nintendo. This one's on PlayStation 1. Oh, okay. So, my mom bought me these socks in Italy, and they're like, oh. they go all the way up to my knees. I feel like a programmer. A programmer? Yeah. Oh! Why would that make you feel like a programmer? It's because of the tran <laughs> it's because of the programmer trans girl on pipeline. Yeah. It's true. Oh wow. But yeah, Ben, what do you think of this little urchin child? Is that a child? That's a child. His <laughs> name is Edward. <laughs> oh I see. He has sort of short legs. Yeah, um it's he has a perspective too. Okay. It's PlayStation 1, so the cores can't scare you. What's the uh, the game I watched you with There Is A Dog? That's Haunting Ground. That's on the PlayStation 2. Oh, okay. Oh, so here's... um, I'm liking Helen's altar now, but I like the gray coat. I think it's very dashing. Yeah, I'm playing with alt outfits because I have them unlocked. We, so oh. the goal for this one, Ben, is um, we need to get the statue from our mentor, Mr. Sullivan. Because it might help us solve the mystery of Scissor Man. Hello, Helen. I see. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I've heard. There's something you'd like to research? I will give you a key to the. <laughs> Why is it every stream somebody's calling the house phone? I wasn't sure if that was it in the game. It throws nope. me off guard. I think it's in game. God. <laughs> Jump scare. Uh, so we're going to go to the reading room so we can um, research the Skizzer Man. Is there a way to make my, um, my, my cat man show up on the screen in the future? Or is that um, too, yeah, in like, the future, probably. Cool. Oh my god. It will be the ultimate VTuber collab. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I still need to get you that thing. Shoot. Who? What? I I have mystery thing I made for for ice. Yeah, the wonderful secret. Oh, cool. Oh, is that the name we're using? Oh no, you can still call me Sam. You know, you knew me in real life first. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was a secret. My well, name. You see it then. It's in the art attack chat. Just go scroll for about a week. For when, like, a special oh, okay. guest appears on stream. Although, right now, special guest is currently sleeping on her own chair. <laughs> we got music! Oh! I saw that! That's very cute. Is, is that um, rigged to work as, like, a YouTube thing? Um, right now, I, I just, I will pull it in whenever she appears. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're now going to be researching Scissor Man. To see if maybe we could find out what is his deal. A step ladder. Books relating to England are up there. Can, can... Do you want me to, to voice act any male characters? Um, I don't know if there are any more. Oh, there are! I think you would like that. Lords of Northern England, this is it. Excuse me, the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. Have you ever had to kick any- back when you worked at a library, did you have to kick anybody out ever? Uh, no, I can't recall that. Um, it's a pretty small town library, so no one was really difficult. Okay. But I've heard horror stories of, uh, larger libraries. Oh, Mr. Sullivan! Helen? Wait, do you want to do him? Oh, sure. It oh. seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I'll go have a look. I'm not pressing anything. Well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. Now I think it's going to go into voice acting now. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, you showed me the scene. Yep. Oh, let's get grody if nobody wants to take a look. Oh, no. So, as far as I remember, I don't think there's too many ways to avoid him. I think, although, I think this is one of the methods. That was scary. Get fucked! <laughs> Helen? That's Edward's voice. He can't still be here. Helen? Now here's the fun game of do I remember what the panic button is? Panic button? Oh yeah, it's how you um get past certain encounters. You gotta mash it. Oh. I Edward. think it's a square button. Edward. Is Edward the guy that just died? Yep. Oh. <gasps> think it's a square button. It oh, might not no. be. Oh, it's a square button. So it is canon that he has teleportation powers. I would like to establish this. Okay, I was wondering how he got up there. Yeah. This series is incredibly silly. We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> For now. Gonna take a sippy sip while I hidey hide. Like, I love how cinematic this is. Mm. Go get that fucking statue. Is 
Sam, did you did you see that I ate a maggot today? Yes, Possibly I did. Maggot. That's horrible. It was pretty bad. I genuinely did not know how to respond. <laughs> I just sort of grimaced while walking across the whole building to spit into the bathroom sink. Oh and god, then... I would have just done it on the floor, dude. <laughs> but like, I would just... not have the willpower to not... Yeah, I probably had to slowly walk through the whole newsroom. <laughs> like, props to you, dude, for being able to hold a maggot in your mouth that long. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I spit the maggot out, but I then I, I had to rinse my mouth out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you spit out in the sink. Like, you waited that long. Oh, that would be an active willpower that I do. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to know that you don't have that kind of willpower. <laughs> We gotta get into this room. I like that computer. It's a nice computer. Oh, you missed the scare of all of the computers turning on, and as Scissor Man passed um, the room, they all said, kill, kill. Cool. Professor Barton. The Professor Barton's coming up with the theory that Jennifer's Scissor Man. Who's Jennifer? Oh, she's the main character. Is that the lady you're playing? No, no. Um, she's oh. Helen is her um adoptive mother slash foster mother. It's kind of unestablished, but she is her legal guardian. Oh. Because Jennifer's protagonist of the first game. Oh my God! Wait, can I have my favorite Scissor Man appearance? It's dark. We gotta use the aquarium as a light. But, oh my god, will my favorite scare happen? I mean, I have so many favorite scares, but please let my silly one happen. Oh, Boo. Can he be in the tank? Yes! <laughs> I've been getting very lucky with the random spawns. So I, I can't be, like, upset. But hey, we got the statue. We should be allowed to attack him with a sword. Legally, you should be allowed to, um, attack the man. Actually, you, um, can. As we beat him with a ladder. Mm. So for some reason, I don't know if I was just dumb and I couldn't figure out what to do, but like... And I'm gonna activate this, man, it'll be funny. Who, who's that on the shelf? Oh, that's the library clerk we just saw. Oh. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Everything's a trap. Has this ever happened at your library, Ben? Or is, um, this, or is this a Norwegian thing? Maybe someday. Um, I hope you're not the one getting decapitated by a clock tower. <laughs> you did have to go up into the clock tower that one time. I did, and Sam told me not to stick my head out the window. Yeah! Now I know why. Like, it seems like a safety hazard to even have a hole there. Yeah. They also shouldn't have that much strength, I feel. I- you- you really wouldn't think so. I guess Norway's just built different. Can I- can I use the door? Oh wait, I have to actually open this first. Silly me! Oh, 
I'm going to press it. I'm going to touch it. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. We've kidnapped the boy. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Voice acting. Indeed. Be there's good boy there's usually go. voice acting in the actual chapters, like when shit gets real. Can we kill Edward? Um, not in this scenario. He's got, um... You can kill the child in other scenarios? Um... Not in this chapter. Oh. Because he's part of, like, the goals for escaping. Let's oh see. my god. Yep, we're gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, probably just a decapitated head on the ground. Are you gonna get framed? I think there were security cameras in 1996. I think so. I think we're legally okay. But, um, there's one last thing we have to get in this room, which makes it suck that we- I probably should have grabbed it before we had to, um... Before I, um, grabbed Edward. Um, because in one of these drawers is the next thing we need. Library? What? Why are you in this library? Oh, because we're doing research on Scissorman to try to figure out a way to stop him. And we also uh. need to get the statue. There is a screwdriver that we need to get. Oh no, budgetary problems. That's unrelatable. Don't talk to me about budgetary problems. I'm not an expert on budget. Wait, hang, is it not going to let me get the screwdriver until I look at the vent? Oh dear. I wouldn't put it past it, the 90s. Hurt. Back to the sirens. At least we weren't trapped there. Run, Helen! God, if this had a stamina meter like the last game, I would probably die. Gonna be real. Reading room. Reading room. So this is the vent. A vent. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off if you're not if you're gonna only let me the screwdriver now. I once again I love this game. It <laughs> has problems. <laughs> like everything I love. If I, every, cause like, the thing is though, like, um, I gush about things that not everybody gushes about. Um, like, there's so many people who gush about Silent Hill 2, and, like, so many other Silent Hill games, but like, 
I want to be the one to gush about this. God. Good to have a the thing is, though, the series is incredibly influential. Man, that siren sound effect is a little bit grating. Yeah, it makes me want to die, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it does, now, is there like a gameplay association with that, or is it just annoying? It's just annoying. Okay. Helen, don't talk to me about the budget. Oh my god, it wouldn't let me do it until I did the fucking vent. <laughs> you know have the screwdriver. God, if I liked orange juice, I could go for a different kind of screwdriver right now. Not like orange juice? The, the drink. Yeah, I know. You don't like orange juice? No, I don't like oranges. Oh. Do you like Fanta? No. Yeah, Fanta's good. Eh. Like, I like a lot of things, but, like, I like a lot of weird things. Mm. Like, um, I like a lot of seafood stuff. Oh, I love but, like, seafood. I have very specific dislikes. And that makes it also sometimes tough when it's, like, with, like, stuff that other people like. Mm. Like, I can't yeah. do spicy. I, I will feel always feel super guilty Come whenever on. I, like, first, when we were first living together. We can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Oh. Hurry, run away from here. Get away! Get away, you stupid animal! <laughs> oh. But is it, Whenever but we were first living together, I gasped you out. Uh, no, I had a oh, wax filter. I don't filter, mind the smell. And it was orange. And then you just messed in passing that you really hate oranges. And I was like, oh, God. It, the smell, I don't mind. I just don't like how it feels on my tongue. Oh. Anyway, now that we've sent the boy to um, the hell dimension. <laughs> oh. God. Hey, Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Yeah. yeah, we did it. Chapter two. Now it's only one more chapter left before we're done. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? Jennifer, I wonder if she found the statue all right. So this red outfit is what Jennifer's normal outfit is during this final chapter. It's going to be very, very different because with um, this cheat code on. Mm. So this isn't a long game then? No, it's um, divided into two parts, which is why I'm doing one half this week and the other half next week. Oh, okay. Um, it's um, you one where you play as Jennifer, one where you play as Helen. The locations are the same, except the puzzles are different. And I'm considering that this doesn't really use pre-rendered backgrounds. This game does have a lot. I found it where the barrows live before they immigrated here. They're fucking British. There's some kind of monster born there. Hmm. hmm. They may have to figure out how to destroy the monster back then, but they also may just be a freaky family that likes birthing monsters. Some people are like that. Some people are like that. That's how I'm here. Okay, so we have to spread the news of everybody in the group, including Beth, that lady who's in the prologue for like a minute. <laughs> I have to go. I have pressing business to take care of. Um, what the fuck is your pressing business? Uh, I have to keep watching Better Call Saul. Mother! Oh my God. That can wait. That's not live. <laughs> That's, that can wait. It's, it's, it's 
a good television program. You can, um, he's got to call Saul. I have to call Saul. <laughs> oh. He better call Saul. You know, <laughs> that can fucking wait. I, I only have so many hours in the day, Sam. Oh, my God. Exactly. Oh, I, have there's to always... go, I have to go refill on seltzer. My hand's almost dry. I'm going to kill you. Dry. All right, well. Goodbye. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> have a good night. Whatever. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. D didn't even fucking say goodbye to me. Wow. Oh, I think he did. Oh. Okay. The man likes his programs. Yeah, programs he's not watching live. <laughs> Rat bastard. So we're going to England for a castle. And what are we going to do with this castle? Born to kick Scissor Man's ass, baby. And nothing bad will happen while we're going, we're just gonna break into this British castle. It's fine. We're fine. I do think like, one of the reasons why we are going so fast with this, though, is because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've played this game so much. Why the murderer disguises himself as Scissor Man? Yeah, there's gotta be a reason why this guy is walking around with a Bill Shatner mask that's spray painted white. That's how you sound. Sometimes people have an aesthetic and they stick to it. It's not our place to judge gods. Stop having a seizure. You'll be a hero if the case is solved. Gods, you are a goat. But not that kind of goat. You're the greatest of all time, my dude. So this section is basically talking to all the people we know would be like, Hey, you want to go on a non-fucked up vacation to England? <laughs> and so literally we're taking a large pot party of fodder with us. Some of them we can choose if they live or die. Some of them it's fucking random. And that's funny. I think some of them are based off of how fast you do things, and it, overall, for the like most characters, it doesn't affect the ending. I just realized um, when we get the clock tower free, I'm gonna probably play it on hard mode, and I'm gonna want to die. Cause remember, um, I beat. Um, the final boss of that game's ass, live on stream, in a private friend stream. Ooh. Remember that? Remember me screaming? Many screams. I hear from Sam. I am filled with screaming. I am nothing but screaming. Nothing out of fear, though. I don't scream out of fear. Oh, no. I am just filled with a lot of things. Emotions. More people to take to England! We've got Harris, the guy who has a picture of us in his drawer, and Beth, the lady who keeps stuffed animals on her desk. Nothing can go wrong. Absolutely nothing. Um, we're also going to bring our war orphan, Edward. <laughs> oh, Jennifer. I have a lot to talk about with Kay, because most of the information about her is, like, lore-wise, is through, um, interviews and the books. And, of course, it's super duper fucked up.
But yeah, um, when we get the clock tower free, um, we have a lot of choices for alternate outfits as we play on hard mode. Uh, there's no froggy costume, which is sad, but we can do the magical girl outfit, which is legitness. Come on, Edward. You crawled for a vent, you can go to England. Okay, I'll tell Helen. Like, this is such a bad idea. And I love it. We love bad ideas. I stand bad ideas. Okay, I think we got everybody. Okay, we're gonna meet up at the newspaper. Yeah. Hang on a second, I'm gonna mute my mic. <laughs> it would be embarrassing if I was caught on mic. Oh. At least I don't think so. We'll find out if it was caught on mic when I look at the stream <laughs> afterward. I didn't hear shit. I mute- because I pressed the mute thing on my mic that just hot mutes it. Yeah. But hey, we're gonna win a Pulitzer Prize for taking a bunch of fucking people. Where else do I need to go? Do I gotta go home? There is no time to go home. Then why are you going home? <laughs> why are you going home? No chit. I do love her red outfit so much. It's so 90s, so iconic, so girl boss. Yeah. Okay, we gotta talk to Nolan and Helen. There's now a total of 10 people. It is going to be a picnic. For me. Are you ready for a little Indiana Jones montage? Oh boy. We're going to get his ass. Airport. Personally, I would not stop in the dark. Where is Jennifer? Harris and Edward are missing too. This may come out of nowhere, but if you're paying attention in the beginning, Harris would not shut the fuck up about Jennifer, and he was keeping pictures of her in his drawer. Uh-oh, sisters. Uh oh, sisters, indeed. <laughs> Last scenario, is a man. Is a man. So here's a good thing where I talk about in the books is <gasps> confirmed. Oh, jeez. Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Harris? That guy from the prologue? Oh, Don't worry. I'll help you now. It was him all along. Whack. Where What is that costume? He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. 
Then I took a time to mention that Scissor Man has um, canonically the to power to mind control pedophiles. That is a true part of the war, according to the books. No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> anyway, that's one pedophile down. Clock Tower War is stupid. We're only gonna get more stupid as we go on. So Boy. this is our final alternate costume. A middle school, um, a Japanese middle school uniform. Can made that scene a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, this area over here, it's very important we get, um, certain stuff. Because once we escape this area, we can't leave it. Oh. Is corpse just evaporate? Uh, yeah, I guess that's what happens to pedophiles. Oh, good. Mm, yeah. Only foreign books up here. Helen would love foreign books. We need to- so there's something among these shelves. Which is very much this case of... Jennifer, I know you don't like to read. <laughs> There's something, um... Now, it's like what I told Ben, um... The maps between chapters, I say the same, but the puzzles are different. There is, um, oh, is it, is it right here? Yep. So this is why it can be hard to get all of the endings if you don't know where things are beforehand. <laughs> so we need to find either Helen or Professor Barton. See. Oh, bless, bless. So there's a random event that can happen by while looking at the stat this um statue over here. How spooky. I don't know if I have to keep examining it or whatever, but um they reference it in Clock Tower Free and I think it's neat. Basically, there's a random chance um, it will zoom in on her, and um, the statue's eyes will be bleeding. Gaspu. None Nika Show Girls has given me forever brain damage, and that's fine. Brain damage is good sometimes. Just like arson. I told my mom how my last um, Patreon post was called Arson is Cool and I Recommend It. The disappointment in her eyes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep. <laughs> but... My sense of humor is very different <laughs> from hers. I wonder if Jennifer's appearance here, like, of the um, Japanese uniform is reference to the Twilight Syndrome murder cases. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so now we have to remember, the star is on top, guys. There's a lot of things where I keep I keep being like, we gotta remember. That fresco doesn't look right. The angel's got bat wings. Crazy Red sold them this fresco. I can't 
can't believe it was all him all along. Crazy red. Oh my god! So here's one of our other random deaths that can happen. Wake the Jennifer, fuck up. You're still alive. Inspector Goss! Thank heaven! So you're if right. he's dead, you will it's find him in Inspector. the grinder. Inspector Goss? So he is now confirmed alive. So that means he is going to be confirmed to be part of the final survivor it's count. Assistant inspector. Anyway, be careful. Let me grab a candle. Put the keyhole in the wall. I love sound effects. So I'm gonna summon Scissor Man. Are you ready? Boy. Scissor Man. Oh. Come on, I need you to come out by the like the Kool Aid Man. There is a room where if you examine something, he comes out of a painting like the Kool-Aid Man. And it brings me joy. Apparently God is dead. Wow! This is just like that one level in Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. <laughs> so now we're going back into, um, Classic Clock Tower, where we have a big area a lot to do and multiple paths we could take. So when I was um young, for some reason I just didn't want to believe that um this place was in England and that this is actually where the first game was and they just rearranged it for gameplay. But the the family being based in England, it does make a lot of sense later on in the war. Hey yo, Scoob! Welcome to the stream. Ah. A key! We now have got the library key. Hi, Barbie. My Barbie. Run, girl. You must go. A chauffeur covered in dust. I wouldn't want to sit here. 
then don't. A file drawer. Hair is scattered all throughout. Oh! Bacon hand! Bacon hand! Ooh. Let's get her around. Ooh. Bacon hand. There's nothing inside. I think that is totally optional. But it's fun to do. It's incredibly silly. A large book. Copper. Copper book. Okay, someone else is alive. Professor Barton would be found hanging it's if you, he is dead. Jennifer. Professor Barton? Professor Barton? Are you alright? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. I've only a few times seen him dead. But um, now that he's confirmed alive, um, he's safe for the rest of the game. Oh, Professor Barton, I found something It's like the opposite like of the first game. <laughs> in which once huh. you confirm what someone's location, they're dead. <laughs> It is in Latin. It's not good voice We're acting, you're right, Dark Magician. <laughs> Below that is written Nha e sh What does it mean? A lot of the voice acting for these older PlayStation 1 games were done by voice actors that, um... But it doesn't say which door. ...were just some English staff at, like, studios that, um, they weren't actors, but they could speak English. And, like, fluently. So, for, like, this is a Japanese game, so that's kind of why it's like this. And, um, Human Entertainment wasn't a big company, but, um, we do have Barry from Resident Evil. So I consider that a plus. Um, next game, we're going to have um, Ghostface as one of the voice actors. And he is the only good one. <laughs> and he is a delight. Everything else about that game is dog shit. <laughs> oh god, I smell food downstairs. I just went to the other side. I should... um. completely explore before I leave. Oh, and he disappeared in the smoke. Poof. Poof. Wait, nope, nope, nope. I know what doors I go in. We're going to have a little puzzle here that I like. I can see he's tripping up some people. But as we walk around here,
this panel of the floor sounds different when we step on it. There's something back here that looks like a switch. Whoa! Trap door. Trap door. Trap door. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. All in. So time to see whether or not somebody is confirmed dead or alive. Oh boy. So we try to leave. <gasps> Who could that be? It's Beth. She's alive. If it's not, right. if Beth is dead, it will be Scissor Man. Beth. And we will oh, find Jennifer, um, Beth's body you. stuffed in a wine casket. Are you hurt? If only her um, wedding ring no, remaining. Not. He's going to kill us anyway. I'm oh, sorry. Did you not like this vacation you wanted to go on? <laughs> now we actually have to go back and talk to her. <laughs> we can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? Because we might be able to find a way out of here. There probably isn't a way out. I mean, it's a castle. But if you really want to go, take this key. I found it a little while ago. We got I don't know what it opens. key. But it'll well, probably give us open key. Something in this mansion. Give us key. Oh, it's part of our invisible inventory. Okay, well, Beth's confirmed alive now. We can bounce. So we've got, um, Gots confirmed alive, Beth confirmed alive, Harris didn't want to go because he's the only smart motherfucker out there. Oh, thanks, Dark Magician. I feel like a lot of people found me through Willie's Well, and I'm very glad that you, like, got a bit of an audience from it. I'm glad to have you on the stream, buddy. Hope you enjoy, um, Clock Tower and all its silliness. But I love it. <laughs> I really hope we find Scissor Man again soon. Because, um, one of my the funniest ways to get rid of him is nearby. We're not going through that door. You'll see why. Ooh, goosey. There's nothing in this room. In this, um, scenario. Well, thanks for making the subreddit, dude. I don't go on Reddit that often other, other than to, like, look at a single your subreddit then leave. But, um, thanks for doing that, dude. Alright, time for us to, um, go upstairs. Wow! But we're not going upstairs. We gotta remove this. It's no use. If only we had something from the complete ch the first chapter that we could have missed very easily.
step back. <laughs> Crutch. I have returned. Christine, can you hear me all right? Uh, yes. Lovely. Welcome back. I have a sandwich now. Oh, excellent. I'm gonna take a bite of that. Sandwich. Now we can get into this room. Something's in the box. But first, what's in the coffin? Whoa. Scissor man? No, it's a mummified one. We now have a box key. I it out of his cold, dead hand? Yeah. So we could... open the box with the key now. But... Oh. we're gonna be suddenly attacked by bats. As you do. And we actually took some help- some damage from that. I think it's our first time taking damage the whole game. But, um, now we have rope. So now we can tie it off. We can't... We are required to take this damage. Oh, to know that it would happen? Yep. Which is ah. kind of dumb. But, um, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh, have fun, Dark Magician. Are you all right? oh, Jennifer. Thanks for popping in. But now we have Helen. So, funny thing, because Goss is alive, all right? this is technically optional. Yes, but my head Helen will be considered dead by the game if she's not found. But even if we get is the best ending at this point, she's still gonna appear in the ending despite being considered but I do dead. Know one thing: if we don't kill Scissorman. He'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. So we gotta kill that bitch here and now. Gasp. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. We have to kick his and ass. Let us find it. So, yes, yeah, she can translate the note. And that's usually what you need the oil can for. But it's still weird. At least in Helen's route, it doesn't actually um um the item you need in the first scenario that you need to um make sure that you get the best ending. You actually do straight up need it. I'm gonna move myself a little. A little lower, so that my the obvious clipping of the model doesn't happen. Wow, we. There's no way you can have that balance control. That's bullshit. Jennifer. Oh no, you're alive. You're alive. 
Yay. Where is everyone? I love it. I don't know. Fine. Scissor man attacked us and everyone scattered. Ah, oh. Nolan, you've hurt your leg. Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. <laughs> Nolan, I'll go. By yourself? I'll come back after I've found and killed him. Oh. You saw them too? You know, the ghosts. I've seen them a few times already. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. It'd be like that. So How did nobody fucking investigate this place? Like, Inkwood's not that big. It's a big ass castle. So. A couple years ago, I found out an Easter egg in this room. If we just stay here. And I mute my mic again to take another bite of my sandwich. Because if we stay in here long enough without doing anything, a little special thing will happen. I don't know how long it takes. And you know what? I'm not going to do it. I've changed my mind. I'll do it during the Helen scenario. Oh, wait. oh nope. That's just the sound of me walking in child bones. We love child bones here. But, um, there's an Easter egg. If you... That's what the the ghost children sang. That's not the full song. The full song can be heard in the soundtrack, but if you um, um if you wait long enough, they will continue the song. And you know what? I'm gonna show off an insta death. That's very fun. It looks like I can't do it yet. Motherfucker. Oh. But when I do it, when I unlock it, it'll be great. Take the dry path when choosing among the free. Among. Um, among. Among us? Among us? Among us? But oh boy. What's that on the floor? I hope we don't need to put a book in a bookshelf. That will be crazy. <gasps> it's the theme! Theme of the game. Nothing bad can be here.
And I actually have a funny story of my childhood here. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Um, when I first played this game. I used to think the zombie had his penis out before realizing that's probably just his tailbone. And I didn't understand how the body worked. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's the area is over. I think we can go back in there and he'll fuck it off. Like, yeah, can I- Can't even examine the hole in the ground, we're just not gonna acknowledge that. Who needs to acknowledge something like that? We're a girl on a budget, we've got an inventory full of items. But oh, the camera angle changed. Wait, no, let me, let me grab the box. Use the stepladder, child. You just get right up into my right ear. That's right. <laughs> Lambskin partridge, the Barrows family genealogy. The thirteenth generation, Quinton Barrows, a traitor. So now we gotta go all the way back to um, the portrait room. It's okay, because we opened up that key. I mean that thing. Um, that door is open now. I definitely prefer her actual outfit over this, um, the alt outfit. But, um, now that we know the 13th generation is full of traitors, we can now look at the painting of the traitor. A note. Now we gotta go all the way back to the library. <laughs> Expel the devil children from the world. It's gonna take us a couple games to do that. I'm gonna be real chief. But we already crushed one up in gears and lit one on fire with kerosene. So I consider that good progress. Okay, so here is one of my favorite rando deaths. My brother and I, we used to, because we were really into um, Robot Chicken growing up, we used mm -hmm. to say that um, Composite Santa is what killed her. <laughs> but I remember there's actually another item we need to get, and I think it may be a character that I always fail to save. <laughs> Consistently, I don't know why, but like... I think it's definitely, like, timing based on, like, how fast you find these characters. But yep, he's dead. Tim's dead. I have no clue why, but, like, I know he's possible to save. But we don't need to check on that body. 
We just need his matches. They just lit his ass on fire and put it, stuffed him in the fireplace. How silly. But um, now we have to check the fireplace. Can't see anything up there. Use the candle. Oh fuck! Apparently that doesn't count. Forgot to put it in the candlestick because Jennifer is too bougie to just hold a candle. I'm great at keeping children alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at keeping children alive. But I always got got to put the candle in the candle holder. I'm so silly. I'm sorry. I got to check on the fireplace first. And then I got to put it in the candle holder. Then I gotta use the whiter, the the, the match on it. Oh, she only took a match, not the match box. The hell did she light it? Okay, we got a m map of the mansion. So I think technically. I think we're good. I think we're ready for the final part. Boy. Right? The final scissor man. The final scissor man. It's a shame that I... You know what? I'm going to show my favorite way to get rid of him. Because, <laughs> um... It's so silly and we could still use it without actually him getting chased. It's if we go down this hall and we go all the way to the left and like go down out the store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. If we run out the store while he's chasing us, he just goes straight into the moat. <laughs> Incredibly silly. Who kept that door there? The British? Why didn't they board it up or something? It's like a funny. A, a funny haha? -ha. A funny haha. -ha. <laughs> Valve. Let's go into the drink. Yeah, we should have everything because we have the translated note and everything. We have some slight damage, but that's not going to matter. So if we were getting ending C, we would have there would have been a rock and we would have gotten jumped. Edward, please. I know you're a good boy. Please mm. stop this and go back to the granite orphanage. Edward. Ah! So according to the books, K is a pedophile. How fucked is that? Oh, God. And she it was also being mind controlled by Scissor Man. Mm. I always say it's concerning how there's multiple pedophiles that Scissor Man can mind control in this game. But anyway. Yeah, I don't like how they're whacking up. Anyway, the final, the 
Final confrontation. Hi, man. <laughs> so it was you, Edward. You're so proud. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, <laughs> Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward. It's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean? No. You get some delay. <laughs> Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, funny thing, um... Yes, yeah, so that's that baby we lit on fire. There's a hole about 30 centimeters wide. I know what to do. Put the statue in. No, I'm not preemptively grabbing my items. What are you talking about? I don't remember learning about black holes. Do you think they just made up Latin? Do you think that they <laughs> would do know. that? Just make up Latin and lie? <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, shit. The reason why we got the dagger is so we can stab a bitch. We did it, guys! We sent the little boy to the Phantom Zone! Hooray! Into the void he goes. Goodbye, child! Rest in piss. Now we have an FMV! I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. I'm sorry, it's quiet. Sure, Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. <laughs> no, you're just. It looks like shit, but I want a game that looks like this. <laughs> Completely. Helen? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. And the only casualties were Harris, Kay, and Tim. We did it! We beat the game for the first, at least the first, mm. um, scenario. But, cool music time! So yeah, next week is going to be um Helen's scenario. Um technically the same story, but um all the puzzles are different. Um and um actually it's not the same story. It turns in it's more of like a crime drama with Helen's scenario. But um, I hope you guys look forward to that. Oh god, I love this music so much. It's so 90s. And, like, there's definitely, like, a lot of love in this game. Of, like, just how many, like, stupid ways the Scissor Man could appear. I I beat that last dumb chapter a lot faster than I thought I would. Like, in that kitchen, there's, like, three different items you can use to, um, get rid of Scissor Man. There's just so much here. And I think Capcom, who currently owns the rights to the series, should hire me. Give me a budget. Give it to me. <laughs> I think the game would go very well as like um, a one-two pack in which um, your actions from the very first game affect the second game. Would that be a pain in the ass to work with? Yes. But I think it can be done. <laughs> I 
shit makes me want to watch Baywatch Nights. <laughs> I love Baywatch Nights. <laughs> they fight frog people. Ooh, next week we get to shoot Scissor Man with a gun. I think that's just from the scene in which he could pop out of the fish tank. Okay, I would absolutely kill, like, even, like, for, like, an official, like, like, remaster of this series. Just, like, update the models and everything. Have the option to choose between old voice acting and new voice acting. I just love this game. Yeah, that that screenshot's from Helen's scenario. Look forward to Jennifer getting crucified. Ooh. Oh, but this is the part of the music where it cuts to a remix of the chase music. Love that shit. <laughs> Yeah, there is a lot of fucking characters in this game. It really is an interactive slasher film. Mocap. We love it. This track from the soundtrack is called Darkness. I highly recommend listening to it. It's part of my um, work playlist. But for now, it's just vibes. I think it's definitely the best idea that I separated um, both parts, um, and I didn't try to do the whole game in one fucking night. I would die. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe next week um, I'll show off more funny ways to die. Definitely show off more ways to die. I will also probably show um, all the bad endings. Because um, there's only. Um, you only live in the best endings. RIP Human Entertainment. Give me some fun ass games. Yeah, baby! Anyway, um, thank you everyone for coming to tonight's stream. It's been an absolute blast. Once again, I keep mentioning, like, how I am so happy to be playing this series again. Um... The hype is only going to get more and more real as um, we go further. Um, next week is going to be more like gushing about it. And then the week afterward is going to be me. Once we get the clock tower ghost head, I'm going to get very mean. It's going to be turning into um, no longer just fangirling ice. It's going to turn into game designer ice that just looks at whatever's wrong in the world and goes <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're a designer and you will get Clock Tower Ghost Head, you will want to rip your fucking hair out. <laughs> um, I um, hope all of you have a really great night. And thanks for coming.